this exam question is looking at correlation, in particular calculating the PMCC, or the moment correlation coefficient, uh, and interpreting it in terms of the question. So uh, this time I have not got a table of values, which you sometimes get when you can just stick the values in the calculator bit that are for you, but I have got some summary statistics given here. So I'm just going to turn to the suitable page in my formula book on correlation regression and use that formula there. So for part A, I'm going to use the formula R equals S X Y square root of S X X times S X Y. That's given in the formula book. So just substitute those in, and I'm going to get uh, four one six point three all over the square root of one two eight over R two eight one three eight. That's the calculator. So, uh, do the denominator first on the 1 to the tail of 5 times 2 to the 8. Square root the answer, the 600.715. Obviously, you can all uh, do this in just one step on your calculator, but you can be a little bit careful with brackets. So, making sure I get it right. Divide through, I get more. For part B, I need to interpret my value in the context of the question. So there's two marks for this. One is for saying what sort of correlation is it, and the second is for that in the context bit, which basically means writing the variables it gives you. So a value of R of 0.693 in the correlation coefficient uh, means there's a moderate uh, positive correlation, or fairly weak or fairly strong positive correlation. So I'll need to write that down, moderate, positive, correlation. That'll get me one mark, and then to get the second mark, you can say, what is it between, in the context of the question, where it's about head and body length. And tail length. And that's what gets you the second mark, that's the putting it into context bit. Uh, part C says write down the value of the PMCC if it had been brought in centimetres. Once you think about the scatter graph and what it would look like uh, in millimetres compared to what it looked like in centimetres, it'd look exactly the same, just scaled up. So the product won't cover the strength of the correlation won't change at all. So it'll still be 0.693. That's only one mark, you don't really have to think about it beyond understanding. Uh, what PMCC means. Uh, and for the final couple of marks, part D, give a reason why it's not generally in right to calculate the PMCC without first viewing the scatter diagram. Well, there's several different reasons you could put for this. Um, one is that the um, PMCC only deals with linear relationships. So uh, you might say nonlinear relationship is possible. It says uh, illustrate your answer with a sketch. So I'll get my second mark for giving an example of that. So I might get, for example, do those things here, but you might get quadratic, such as that. So this is the idea. An example. Some patient, what I have like on there.